Joining us now from his office in St. Louis is Andy Meadler, technology analyst at Edward Jones. Hey, Andy, great to have you on the program today. So what kind of competitive threat, if any at all, really does the Windows mobile operating system pose, obviously, to Google and Apple? Well, they certainly face uh, strong competitors here in terms of Apple, Research in Motion, and others. And, and honestly, my, Microsoft's been a little bit behind the ball over the last few years, not having a great mobile operating system. However, with this new Windows 7 mobile operating system that's supposed to uh, hit the market later this year, we think they've really uh, revolutionized the product and, come, and we should start seeing a lot better uh, phones out of Microsoft and we think a, a lot more competitive uh, pressure that they could be putting on others going forward. When you say revolutionize the product and then you know you're saying uh, to, to advance the competitive pressures against those rivals I mean is this going to be an immediate thing once the product from Samsung and LG which will carry the Windows mobile operating system hits store shelves or is it going to take some time? How is this going to all sort out in your view? Sure. Well, we think it's it's little uh, little steps over time. So we think it'll certainly take quite a bit of time for Microsoft to really make a, a presence here. But we think these are certainly good steps in the right direction for Microsoft. Uh, basically, a complete redesign of their Windows mobile operating system. And we think this is exactly what was needed. Their products that they currently have on the market just you know aren't up to the same uh, uh, quality or, as what we see out of some others. So we think this gets them on the right track, and we think this uh, changes the product uh, trajectory for Microsoft. So, so Andy, uh, you say not having a great operating system in the past, and you just mentioned the word quality. Specifically, what was Microsoft doing wrong? You know, what, what they weren't doing, they were just missing some of the must-have features. And with this new product, they're having these features more the touch, a better user interface, a more social, uh, pro, uh, just overall a more social product. So overall, we think, uh, you know, this should stem the tide a, a bit on losing some market share here. But the thing we have to put in perspective with this is uh, mobile software for Microsoft is still only a few percent of the overall business, just given how large Microsoft is. So, you know, we're positive on Microsoft. Yes, the, uh, partially because of this, but also because just a whole new slew of products that they've put out over the last year or so, we think this should lead to accelerating growth for the overall company in general. So if Windows Phone 7 is a big success, what's that going to mean for Bing's market share? Oh, we think it could help it. You know, Bing will certainly be integrated with the new Windows mobile operating system. And so what, what we think is the more you get the Bing name out there, whether it's through commercials, whether it's through a Yahoo search partnership, or whether it's through, these new, through its new uh, mobile phones, we think that's good for Bing because it is a good product. And we think getting that uh, consumer awareness out there should drive some more market share Microsoft's way. So we think it's positive. So Windows Mobile operating on the LG Electronic or Samsung handset unit, is it going to be better served in a, for, for business uses or personal uses, or is it kind of a hybrid? I'm trying to figure out from a consumer standpoint who's going to be purchasing it. Sure. I think it's consumers and businesses. There's still a lot of businesses that are running Windows uh, handsets that haven't moved over to a Apple or Research in Motion because you have to buy additional servers, other licenses. So what we see is still a number of businesses are running Windows mobile operating systems. So this gives them a new platform to buy into, which we think is positive. And from a consumer perspective, it's all about the social networking. So integration with Facebook, MySpace, just others, we think is very important. So we think it'll be a product that, you know, it, it could help both on the consumer and business side. So, Andy, if I might ask in our last 30 seconds, this gives, I, I guess, at least Microsoft an edge because in the past it's been known for playing catch up as opposed to being innovative, specifically in this genre. That's right. I think, you know, it's all about market perception with Microsoft. Well, certainly they put out some good products over time. People might not have think they're as innovative as they actually have been. Right. But when they see products like this coming to the forefront, it it's helps to turn the market perception that, hey, Microsoft is once again innovative. And we think that should provide a catalyst over time for the stock price as well. Okay, so you'd buy Microsoft shares on this bit of news today, Andy. Uh, we think this just continues to reinforce our view that we see good product innovation at Microsoft and with accelerating growth from this new product cycle, shares are attractive today.